Hey everybody. I um we're going to be going over, combing over some things. As you can tell by the title. We're looking at um Jupiter as it enters into um Capricorn December 2nd. It's going to be there from December 2nd, 2019 to December 19th, 2020. Um, let's start unpacking it. I'm just going to share my screen. And we're going to be looking at all of the Earth energy that we have going on. And for people who are um, water element, fire element, this is a highly uncomfortable time for you <laughs> because this energy makes you want to, makes you deal, makes you be real. It's air, air too. It's it's not easy. Um, it makes you get honest about where you're actually at but it's a good thing because you want to actually get to where you want to get to but it's not going to be you're not going to get there in a way that you want to get there like in in a way that's not painful that and you're not going to be comfortable the whole time that's what i'm trying to say um, we have lied to ourselves and and have told ourselves that we have to um, have comfort all the time. And that's not the case. Um, and we want to escape our issues. It, this is just all reminding me of it has nothing to do with me. But I peeped it from the beginning that it's just not done. There has to be a system set up the right way. This is an example of a system set up the wrong way. And when you're when when you don't have your foundation laid correctly, it's doing fail. And we're not looking to continue these same patterns over and over again. We're looking for things to be torn down so that we can build on top of them the right way. Okay, what could they be doing differently? The first thing I noticed, they don't have any elders. They don't have any medicine men, medicine women, wise men, wise women. Um, they're trying to present themselves as teachers. Um, they are teachers because you can be a teacher of what not to do um for yourself and for others they don't have to show us what's going on i'm sure there's underground shit happening um and this is why i love this age that we're in because we're all such attention whores nobody can hide which is why this time period is perfect because the people who have not truly honestly done the work and that's inner work as well as outer work saturn has been retrograde and it's just now going direct so if you've been feeling a lot of tension and pressure um and intense indifference to your life like nothing satisfies you all you feel is bitterness. There's no sweetness in your life. Food don't taste the same. Going outside don't work. Meditating don't work. You've been having to um, come face to face with your demons because Capricorn is about the devil. In the sense of, um, <laughs> you can take yourself so seriously and be so dead set on getting your way it can even be a good thing that you want. For instance, that lady um, that was with Osho, have you guys seen that uh, documentary, uh, 
old that that documentary on Osho, who is a um, who was a mystic when he was here in this realm. Um, his partner reminded me of the devil card in a tarot deck. And I know she's a shero. She is a shero. She got the damn job done. I don't knock her for that. You know, Osho is the mystic and he has like the wild, mystical, transcendent ideal of how um, she wants, of how he, how he sees the world and how we can all live in harmony with one another. And his partner, Shoshana, I think that's her name, Shoshana or something like that, um, was the devil who got that shit did, done on earth. Now, in present time, made that shit happen by any means necessary. And also, she was willing to do any anything. Now that is when the balance needs to come in where Jupiter comes in, it's like, it's all good. It's all good, homie. It's all, it's, it's, it's beautiful. It, this is wonderful. Show me what's, what you got going on. Like Jupiter is like the wise old sage, the teacher, um, the elder. Um, Jupiter is um, transcendental. He uh, understands and sees the big picture. He's all about expansion right and jupiter is in its downfall in capricorn because um jupiter is like let's expand by any means necessary and saturn kind of like narrows things down by any means necessary let's 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 make things happen in this exact way by this exact time these are the results I want. And Jupiter's more open ended because you have to be flexible if you want things to, to fall in the right place. You can't, Jupiter is more like I, I surrender to the good of all, right? Which is why Jupiter is going to give you great energy, great luck, a great attitude. It's going to, um, to see the best in the situation, even if, even if it's not the best, okay? This transit only happens every 20 years. All right, so let's get into um, what we came here for. So we have come on, let me draw Jupiter entering into Capricorn um, at zero degrees on December 2nd a new beginning, a new era beginning. And it's going to be trying Uranus. Uranus is going to only be at three degrees, so that would be a close trying. Okay. Um, and then Mercury here in Virgo I'm sorry, and Scorpio making a sextile with Saturn and Pluto. There's just a lot of energy going on in that day. Let me just go on ahead and circle this um, sextile between Venus and Mars. And then we have this Neptune here that is um, sextile both Taurus and Capricorn and then trying mm -hmm. trying Mercury 
in Scorpio. A whole lot of, lot of, just a whole lot, a lot of energy going on at the same time. We already kind of talked about what Jupiter and um, Capricorn energy will do. The great teacher, the great old wise sage, the wizard, you know, um, I think I'm thinking of that movie Merlin up against um, not the movie, the show Merlin up against like all of those obstacles. Okay, Saturn um, will lead you right into your bitterness and chaos. Capricorn will lead you right into your bitterness and chaos. Jupiter is going to shine a light on whatever areas you're not experiencing the sweetness of life. You want to break down those hardened walls where you have built up defenses over time because in those areas, you're not thinking for yourself. Whether you think you're an independent thinker or not, but if you are bitter and you're not, if you, if you don't have your own concept of success, happiness, independence, and your own concept of what makes you joyful as a human being, then you are really easily controlled by other people, whether you realize it or not. You're really, um, bitterness and um, defenses draw from your energy. It takes from your energy um, and it makes you susceptible to energy vampire, vampirism. And that's where this Neptune energy comes to play right here so you have you have people that are being faced with their reality which is Capricorn right with the harsh reality of what they have not been doing for themselves and have not been building for themselves um, we live in a authoritative patriarch society where um, white men have ruled for a really long time um, they have conquered, they have divided, and now their reign is starting to show its slip. You know, um, people are beginning to, I don't like that word, awaken, but it's kind of like, um, if you look at everything in nature, what do you notice? You know, birds fly and they migrate and bees swarm and, and everything works together on a, on a particular time frame and programming. And it's just time. It's time for our karma and dharma, the will of fortune to start coming around. Everything changes. And so the devil comes into play because the devil wants to hold on for their life to power. So Capricorn um, energy is about where you feel powerful and abusive people, energy vampires will take advantage of the area where you feel powerless. Um, our Capricorn energy has been usurped by um, people in our ch when we were children I mean, it starts from the beginning to where you get vac vaccinated into um, silence. You get silence from the day you're freaking born. They, 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 act, they want you to cry. Everybody wants you to do everything on their cue, on their time frame. You don't get a chance to really be connected to Mother Nature and your inner programming. Um, I know part of our war with mother nature is that we don't like how controlling she is, but I think we're learning our lesson that it's better to, to live within the timing and flow of mother nature than to let um, men who don't know when enough is enough, <laughs> when to, um, nobody should be in control of anyone else ever again. <laughs> Not unless you are uh, initiated and everyone will know that you're initiated 
because you'll have a meekness and a surrender to whatever is and you will channel a wisdom. It's not about control. It's about what's going to be for your highest and best good and for the highest and best good of the community. Um, and so with this Neptune here that sextile both of these earth signs, you'll be asked to go into the depths of the delusions inside of yourself, which will affect the, um, the toppling down of the delusion of us having wanting and needing someone to think for, for us when we already have a built-in computer system. Thank you. And we thank you very much. You know, we, we appreciate all of your work to enslave all of us, but um, your services are no longer needed. We got it from here. But in order for you to feel confident in saying that, you have to break down those walls and those defenses. First, you have to admit, I'm bitter. What are you bitter about? You have to admit that shit. And bitter is a silent ass killer. Just look for areas where you don't have a sense of humor, child. <laughs> look at areas where you can't be laughed at, okay? Do you have a hot button where if someone says the wrong word or looks at you wrong, you're ready to leap across the table? Then that's what you need to work on, my friend. Or do you have like um, just an inner bile like even when you're alone can you enjoy your own company most people cannot which is why we have a lot of uh illusory relationships where we don't know who's coming who's going what's up and down the difference between you and i whose fault is who who's projecting who onto whom or what you know um you have to be able to successfully be with yourself. And I'm not saying that, I know some people get angry. If you're getting angry at that, then that's a trigger. Triggers are amazing. This trigger is a starting point to where a, a entry point into your healing space, into your highest and best healing <clears throat> for yourself. Okay. All right, so this goes down to, breaks down to the levels of relationships um, on that day with, with Mars, sextile, and Venus. You could possibly meet the love of your life, somebody that you can take seriously. There can be some passion going on there. Um, I'm seeing that you could um, have a fiery encounter with Mercury and Pluto conjunct. This, it looks like people will be having some serious conversations that transform their lives. And it can be with, with partners, uh, with loved ones, definitely people that, that know you better than you know yourself, or there can just be this opportunity for great healing. And I mean, some of us don't really like to go into the depths of our connection to the earth, meaning like um, your work life, um, your family life, getting into the breaking down of traditions. Why do you do what you do? Are you um, connecting with your soul or are you just going through the motions? Basically what I'm saying is it's gonna be a time between now and um, next year to where you can really begin to carve out a real life for yourself where you feel like you're actually here and wh where life matters to you and getting in contact with your ancestors and making them a part of your life, getting more in contact with earth spirits and earth energy where have we been we've been eating captain crunch and watching full house for too long we've been like airheaded what's been going on you know we have little sprinkles 
of fairy dust from time to time where it was like, oh, my amethyst. But how, well, how can we bring this all down to earth? It takes a lot of humility. It takes time. It takes effort. You get, if you make a commitment, which is very Capricorn, stick with it no matter what. Like for instance, my um, Tarpanam ritual was not done today. It, it had slipped from me. I usually do it in the mornings, but damn it, I'm going to still do it. I'm still going to do it. I'm going to, you have to make a commitment to finish what you started no matter what, which has been my motto for a while now. Once I realize, I'm like, I don't finish shit. Maybe a few years ago or more than that, I was like, you know what? I start a lot of businesses and I talk a lot of shit. Let me stick something all the way through to the very bitter end and see what happens. <clears throat> Make a commitment to your healing, to yourself, to your soul tribe, to your ideas that you're having. Um, I pulled some cards for this as well. Do, do I need to say anything else? I mean, of course, you're fine. This is, this is about making your, um, our spiritual ideals down to earth and making them practical without going into this thing where I'm, I'm going to be um, in control and I need to be seen and I need to be heard. No, this is about like real work and who, whatever position you're supposed to be in, if you follow your truth and you're honest within your being, you will be placed when the dust settles, you'll be able to rise to the occasion when you're needed. It's, it's, there's no other way. You can't just give yourself a title. It doesn't work like that. The universe is already given it to you. You don't have to worry about it. You just go through your initiation and purification process with, with gratitude and graciousness, heal up that bitterness inside and, and that um, aptitude to focus on what other people is doing compared to you, comparing yourself to other people, their success, their failure. Focus, you have enough work to do within yourself, enough training to do within yourself enough breaking the chains within yourself and Jupiter will put a spotlight even more on those parts of yourself so congratulations if you've been resisting for the past um, few years or a couple of years that Saturn has been transiting through Capricorn Jupiter is coming to help your ass out <laughs> and, give, and, and, and give you the expansion of exactly what it is you need to take more seriously but also lighten up at the same time if that makes any sense for instance let's look at this chart so on this chart here this person has Capricorn on the cusp of the fifth, their fifth house I mean they also are kind of like involved with Aquarius over there as well and, and Capricorn also is in very kind of involved with their fourth house too. <laughs> okay, so this person um, probably and oh, and they have a North Node here in Cancer, so that means their South Node is in Capricorn, which is also another thing and. and We'll talk about that one day. <laughs> All right. And so this person is used to feeling entitled to attention just because they're creative or just because they're beautiful or they're just, they, they feel entitled to success. They feel like it should come naturally. They feel like they shouldn't have to work for it. They feel bitter maybe that, you know, and then and it looks like in their childhood, they didn't get a chance to play or really have a childhood. They have to be more serious had to be an adult they maybe even had to take the role of a father figure as a child so that might be bitter that can make somebody fucking bitter i can understand that but saturn and pluto has come to assist this person 
and allowing themselves to be creative for the sake of being creative, for the joy, which means that they have to break through that, that what with a hole or maybe with a fort lift thingy excavator and dig up that hard ground so that they can um, be more present, be more pleasant and um, work on having joy in their life, being free from those types of shackles. Because what will happen to this person, someone on the outside of them will offer them an opportunity to play and be free, right? And, and it could be a church, a cult, be like, come with us, come with us. Come with us into our magical land of being like a child because the fifth house is like your childlike energy, your primitive child, inner child self, right? Come play with us in the forest. And this person hasn't developed that energy on their own. Oh my God, somebody can leave them kind of like Hansel and Gretel through the forest and they'll end up in the oven. That's extreme. And that's not necessarily how that works, but it works. It kind of is. And so that's what I mean. That's what I'm saying. You have an opportunity here on this day in particular to use your voice, use your words. I see arguments that need to be had. People, um, speaking their truths. I see um, people being innovative as to how they start their businesses and making money. Believing in yourself is key. Okay. So some key words that I wrote, responsibility, lighten up, dark places, devil, stubbornness, what's most important, get free, get humble, teacher slash student, transformation of authority, get close to inner critic, make it your teacher, learn from your illusions, the rise of false prophets, the rise of real prophets, initiation, karma, with the South Node being in, in Capricorn right now, past lives, past loves, with, um, with Venus being conjunct the South Node on um, that day, it will bring up past life relationships and maybe some old responsibilities from past lives that you have not been able to um, heal from what didn't you take responsibility for in past lives bitterness from past lives letting other people think for you letting other people use you because your energy has been sapped you have to get your energy back how you get your energy back is you get away from energy vampires and you keep them away. Keep the drama away. How do you know you're around an energy vampire? Energy vampires will throw the rock and hide the hands. You know? You can't get a word in edgewise. You can't find a resolution and you can barely pinpoint exactly what's off, but something's off. If that's what you're going through in any of your relationships, Step away, focus on yourself. You might be addicted to drama. Recognition um, and past lives, entitlement, entitled to be successful because of past work. You might have to dig deeper. You might feel like, oh, I'm so tired of this. It's time to dig deeper. This is where um, your strength is built. At this time, people who don't belong in certain positions will be discredited, naturally. Those who do the work will rise to the top. Okay? So the meek, in essence, will inherit the earth. 
Some cards I pulled are the Ace of Cups. These are interesting cards to pull for this. The Four of Swords. What is this saying to you guys? So you guys have watched enough tarot readings now to kind of understand these cards or to completely understand these cards. What is saying to me? So interesting. It's, it's Capricorn energy is um, about work, right? But what type of work though? It looks like resting. Resting in the arms of the mother. Letting, letting the great I am be there for you and heal you. Because you're tired. It's tiring being pulled around like with the carrot on your sh on the string all the damn time. It's no fun. The star, five of wands, reversed, both reversed. Disappointment from being a doormat. This is something that you didn't even know you needed or you wanted, but it's absolutely the truth. You're like, mm, mm, ugh. I kind of asked for this, but this is not exactly what I asked for when I prayed and asked my ancestors to come help me or when I gave my offerings or when I asked to manifest the woman of my dreams, the man of my dreams, the business of my dreams, the location of my dreams, but fine. It's going to take you surrendering to how the universe says things are to go. And it has nothing to do with you exerting power. That's already been done. Why did my face get like that? <laughs> That's been done. In this new era, have some blue lotus flowers. Get into your herbal garden. Follow the um, transits of the moon. Make observations. Observe yourself and your feelings as you go through your healing. Blue Lotus. If you guys follow me on um, Instagram, I uh, did a, a little short Insta story. I got these Blue Lotus flowers from uh, Sri Lanka off of eBay, right? And I usually would, I was getting blue lotus flowers from um, the nature store or whatever up the street from me. They stopped getting it. <laughs> but this is was cheaper. It took longer to get to me and it's more than I usually get for cheaper. I like using lighter to blow, to, to pull smoke, but yeah. Find innovative ways to connect. And heal. Like joining me on Patreon for new and full moon rituals. It's time for something new. In order for it to truly be new, your defense mechanisms have to come crumbling down and you kind of have to be okay with it. This um, nine of cups reverse saying is like, you're not necessarily okay with it, but in the end, you're gonna get the skills you need. You're gonna be good. You're going to become what it is you need to be. 
the beginning of this reading was the Ace of Cups. So where you're starting off, you know, maybe mourning and crying and um, cause from lack of connection, right? But how you connect with yourself is by going within and just kind of taking a back seat. Let your mind take a back seat to your emotions because you realize, you know, I don't know it all. I don't got it all. And that's okay. Have part of the fun, which we have lost touch with a lot of us, is the journey. So at the end of all of this, for those of you that are still here, I, I really wanted to talk. I don't usually spend this much time on things because people don't watch. I'm not, no, I'm not consistent, <laughs> A. And B, um, people don't really watch my videos for that long. <clears throat> but for those of you that are still here, a brand new day um, is truly coming. For real, for real, when Capricorn enters, when Jupiter enters Aquarius on the 20th of December, 2020. That's amazing. So it'll be, it'll be uh, 12, 20, 2020. That's the year. It'll be a nine day which is the number of completion and, and innovation. And have, do you know life path number nine people? They're dope as shit. It'll be hailing in a new era, right? And Saturn enters um, Aquarius December 18th. So the big day for um, the conjunction of Jupiter and Saturn, they'll both be at 29 degrees for two days actually, on the 17th and on the 18th. It'll be a conjunction where everything will come to a head and you'll be set free. You'll be set free. Do the work. I'm excited. 